sledding is so fun. What's up y'all? It's Troy. I had a lot of people subscribe to the channel over the video last week. I'm just going to give y'all, you know, just a little bit about me and um just well, you know, what what I really got to offer and uh <clears throat> like I don't know, I I got snowed in today. I work outside. I cut down trees for a living. So, we um you know, I get on the Weather Channel app, everybody's talking about, we're going to get this much snow, this much snow. And it, they they don't fucking know. Anyways, is it me or does every fucking thing today designed to scare the shit out of us? Like the Weather Channel app's trying to tell us um, how many, since when do they predict how many motherfucking people are going to be out of power? Since when the fuck is that a prediction? They, they were saying 250,000, like... How the fuck do y'all know? When do I stick to getting the snow right, and then we'll go from there. And anyways, uh, just a little rant right there. I woke up this morning, had my coffee, kicked back. Everybody's asleep. I watched Tombstone, fucking ate some breakfast, woke up. Uh, or the kid woke up, and then we come downstairs and hung out, played some video games. Then I took his ass out. We went sledding. And, uh, you know, it, just normal shit. Like I said, I, I cut down trees for a living, so I, I didn't have shit to do. And, um, that, uh, Weather Channel app, like, I mean, they predicted, like, it said one inch on Wednesday. And, and whenever I looked at the app, then it, then it went up to eight. Then it went up to 14. Then it went up, or went down to nine. And, you know, shit's fucking irritating. But, uh, anyways, uh, who, who, who I am and what I'm about, like, you know, I, I don't, I don't look like it. I look in shape and I, I work my fucking ass off at the gym and at work and, and, you know, like, but as far as what I used to be, I, I mean, you know, what I'd really like the channel to be about and attract people to is I used to be one f piece of shit. I used to do a lot of drugs and used to steal a lot. I used to, I, I'm a six time felon. I have been in fucking jail in Arkansas and five different county jails in Colorado and Kansas. I mean, I've, I got six felonies. I've been uh, over arrested over 30 fucking times, easy. Um, been to prison in Colorado, and, and, you know, like, I mean, the way I grew up, I grew up, shit, I started getting high when I was 10, I started popping pills and drinking at 13, I mean, I was selling weed when I was fucking 10, um, and, like, the, I grew up in a little town in Pecola, Oklahoma, small-ass town, and, um, you know, like, everybody knew my fucking name, every, every you, you grow up in a town that small and you're selling any fucking thing, and, and cause there wasn't no medicinal shit back then, you know, I'm fucking 38 and, and, uh, so anyways, um, they, uh, I, I don't want to get any stories and I'm trying to keep the videos a little shorter and if the quality ain't that good, y'all let me know and I'll try to change them up a little bit, but, uh, you know, like I, I've, I've done some crazy ass shit. And, you know, I, I've been sober since, um, August 22nd, 2007. I haven't drank anything, smoked anything, quit smoking cigarettes. I quit, I, I never, you know, even my own brother was like, dude, you, when you got married, you didn't have like a celebration, like glass of champagne or something. I was like, nope, nothing, never fucking hundred percent clean. Went through a crazy ass program in Denver called Pier One. Went through fucking AA, worked the 12 steps, and 
got my sponsor and all that shit. And, and, and like, you know, like a, a lot of people see me and they don't even believe me. My own wife, she loved, thank the Lord, she never fucking uh, knew that side of me years ago. She probably wouldn't be with me. And, um, I mean, she hear, hears some of my old friends and, and that are doing good and come up with some stories. And, and she was like, I just can't picture you like that. I just don't think it's possible. And I'm like, good. That's the way it should fucking be. Because I changed. And, uh, anyways, um, like, I, I just want to get, you know, share my experience, strength, and hope so that people do know that the shit is fucking possible to change your shit around if you don't like the way you're living. And I mean, that could be as far as health wise, you know, there's, there's, uh, overeaters anonymous. I mean, prescription anonymous, CMA, crystal meth anonymous that you, you, you go down the list. I mean, it's all there, you know, and ultimately it would be my spirituality that helped me would be, you know, finding and putting Jesus Christ in my life and building on that relationship. Thank the Lord. The only way to calm me down, I, the best way to do that for my dumb ass was in jail and prison. And, um, so like I, I would talk to my mom and I'm in prison. I'm like, no, no, this is great. This is the most peaceful, calm, happy I've ever been. And like, she was blown away because I'm in, uh, Buena Vista South Unit in fucking Colorado, and like it was like that used to be one of the worst units in the whole state. And I mean, it, it was one step away from Supermax the way it was set up, and like they had the highest ratio of lifers and violent offenders and all that stuff in one facility. And I was right next to them. I was like, no, man, I feel great. This is awesome. Like, I had a huge weight off my shoulders because I deep down in my heart had a switch in my life. I took that other road and I just told myself like, man, I don't want to fucking be another motherfucker that died of an overdose or living in prison the rest of my goddamn life. Like I'm tired of this shit. I mean, you know, that saying that there ain't nothing in that life except a fucking early grave or a court date. And I was tired of fucking looking at both. So you know, I, I, there, there's a lot of steps that went to that and I can break it down and get into the stories and all that. But I was just trying to give an overview of what, you know, y'all, y'all seen my last video and, and it was a re review of a concert, but I want to know or let y'all know the background of who y'all talking to, who y'all are seeing. And if y'all want to see more, that's great. You know, you ain't ever going to see me fucking take a shitload of jello, fill my living room with it, and go sliding down my fucking stairs in it. That ain't me. Fuck all that. Anyways, um, if other people do that, that's cool. That's on them, and that's how the fuck they want to live, but not me. And, uh, but, like, like I said, you know, like, I've always wanted a platform to talk about addiction, and that it is possible to change and give some people some inspiration, you know, and... I mean, because people that knew me back then, they see me on Facebook. Because I've lived, like I said, I grew up in Oklahoma. I live in Pittsburgh now. And I, I mean, I lived in Colorado for a long time. And I, I mean, I lived in Virginia Beach for a couple years. And uh, like I've lived all over. And people, especially from back home in Oklahoma, because that's where I lived the longest. And um, whenever they see me now, they just like, they're so proud. And like, dude, I can't believe like you ain't going to drink nothing with us. You ain't going to smoke nothing with us. Whenever I go back and see them and, you know, say what's up to the fam and all that stuff, like they, they just don't it, like, like they're proud of me, but you know, they, they ain't around me every day. And so like they, they vibe with it and they get it, but they remember the fucking crazy me years ago. And like, then the transformed me, years down the road and growed up instead of fucking a teenager idiot, you know, and, and fucking like that they, they're, they, they get it, but like they, they, I, I can still see that they're like, man, that's this is fucking weird. Like, but, but anyways, like, like we still, I mean, it's all hugs and fucking love. And I talk to them all the time and we still call and, you know, 
video chat and whatever the hell you want to call it. And, um, but no, it, it's, I, I know there's a lot of people out there that are struggling with the shit that are going through addiction. And if they ain't, then they got a family member who is cause that shit swallowing fucking people's lives up. They it don't give a fuck what your name is, how much money you make, what the fuck you drive, where you're from. Addiction will chew your ass up and spit you the fuck out. And, and it's, that's the evil side of life. And I got a lot of friends that done died from all that shit, you know. And, I mean, I could count and, and down the line. And, I, and, and, you know, and I ain't trying to say I'm been through everything, been there, done that, and da 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 I don't know everything. Hell no, I know it works for me. And I know that there is hope for motherfuckers out there using. And then they can get through it. And they can change if they want to, you know? And um, I got a little timer I'm fucking looking at, so I, I don't want this shit to run on too long. There's people got lives and, and shit to do, you know? But uh, I just want to make a quick video and let y'all give y'all a little background about me. And because I, I mean, I was a little surprised. I was just doing a video about about the concert and, and a lot of fucking skins out there was just like oh i'm gonna grab this shit right here but um so that that's that's awesome it's great and so i was just letting y'all know who i am and what i'm about we'll see y'all in the next one